You are now tuned in to Case You Were Wondering with Loudmouth, only on Mouth Radio. Well, welcome to In Case You Were Wondering. I am the mouth of mouth. Haha, <laughs> Loudmouth. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be confused with Loudmouth Ant, but that's in litigation. Don't worry about it. Anyway, thanks for everybody being here. We have No ID, a.k.a. he of no identification. Mr. ID, or do you go by Mr. No, or how do you want me to call you? <laughs> Whatever you prefer. I'm just happy to be here. Thank you for joining us. Uh, how are you feeling and going into this last round? I know we have to reveal the final pick in this draft, and I don't know if you actually got a chance to look at the top 10 rankings. It looks like you have a few notable people to pick on or pick from, depending on how you're feeling. Yes, funny enough, uh, a good bit of my team is on the power rankings. Ironically, I am not, but that's okay. If I am the worst person on my team, I think we are in a good spot. I think we are in a good spot. Okay, so let's remind everybody who all is actually on your team right now. All right, so so far we have Shawnee P, who was pick number one. Then we have Be Nice, who was pick number two. And our lucky number three. I will be revealing to you either now or later. Your choice. Well, you know what? You're not by yourself because Be Nice is not on the power rankings either. Uh. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that. I will send you all a cookie package. So let's see. Now, doing this pick, and also we might touch on this later, the shakeup. They're kind of, you know, you might want to talk to one of the GMs before you decide to actually make this choice if you haven't already. They usually have to go through a little bit of this kind of stuff for the shakeup. And as you all know, the shakeup is coming up very soon. Better yet, let's talk about the shakeup really quick. We'll circle back around. How do you feel about the shakeup? You're new. You're a rookie. You've never actually had to participate in one of these. So how are you feeling going into the shakeup? To be honest, I'm a little anxious. If I have to uh, tell the truth, you know, I came into Mouth After Dark and... All they were talking about was how it was the B-show this, B-show that. So I took a lot of pride in coming in here and trying to show the, the universe that Mouth After Dark can be and will be the S-show. Um, so just the timing of the shakeup is very interesting because I'm about to put a team together to fight for Mouth After Dark's honor, but Shortly after that, I could end up on emergence. Um, but I'm really just trying to focus on making sure we win for Mouth After Dark and kind of deal with that problem afterwards. If I if we win, it's a good problem to have. If I do end up going to emergence because mission complete, but to lose and then have to go to emergence, that would be a, a tough pill to swallow. I can imagine that Mouth Emergence has won multiple years running. So... If you, you lead this the way that I think you say you're going to lead it and actually lead it, you all might actually, you know, do the thing. Now, to give you a little backup or back, you all, I haven't had my uh, drink today, so forgive me. Hold on. Let me take a sip really quick. Don't tell anybody I'm doing this. Hold on. Okay. As I was saying, to give you a little background, there we go. Yes, the daiquiri did it. Okay. To give you a little background, it wasn't that people thought Okay, I, I, I take that back. People did think Mouth After Dark was kind of crappy, but it wasn't the superstar's fault. The part you're missing is there was a guy. He was the GM. His name was Charles. Charles was not great. He also didn't <laughs> pay very well. Um, and now Charles has his own thing going, and his is called Charles in Charge. So if you ever get, you know, someone knocking on your door talking about playing you ample amounts of money, a plethora of benefits, don't believe any of it, and start running. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, back to what we were originally talking about. Are you looking for a specific type of superstar to be on your team, like to round it out or balance things out? Yeah, I'm definitely looking for somebody who has had multiple levels of success at this point in their career. Mm. Uh, somebody who has had to perform in high pressure situations and came out on the other side with their hands raised as victorious. So that's definitely important for me here. Not to say that my other 
revealed teammates haven't because they have held gold and they have been successful. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But this is something that I kind of admire in the sense that I haven't had my victorious moment as of yet. Hmm. Yeah, you definitely gave me something to think about on that one. Uh, hmm. All right. I tell you what. You feel like telling me now? Are I'm you ready? I mean, we can tease it a little bit longer. I can let the people wait. I don't mind. I mean, I wouldn't want you to blow your low early now. Oh, 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 oh. Is it who I think it is? That's right. <laughs> the, um... Mr. Grand Slam, I guess I'll call him Mr. Grand Slam himself, will be joining Mouth After and Dark. How in the world did you pick? What made you pick the other presidential candidate as the person on your team? What better way to exemplify a leader? than somebody who was able to put differences aside for the betterment of the group. Oh, so at this point, you've got Emo, you've got Dasani Spit, (laughs) and you've got, well, Breon. Yeah. Oh, (laughs) you know, I I honestly can't wait to see how this is going to (laughs) go. Well, to quote someone that we all know, It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Oh, wow. This is, you know, thanks for, I appreciate you dropping by to give me that little tip. Man, you know, if you want to talk about things after the fact, please (laughs) come back because I cannot believe that that's who you picked. So this should be interesting. You got anything else you want to, you want to tell us about or let us know what's coming up or anything? Uh, I just want to say that I am very appreciative to be here. It is an honor to be on such a prestigious show, like in case you are wondering. Um, You are on the ground roots, the heartbeat of mouth. So I appreciate that. And um, I'm just happy to be here. And yeah, I'd love to come back anytime, hopefully with my head held high. I was going to tell you to stop and keep going all at the same time. You didn't have to say that, but I appreciate that. Well, I am glad we had this chat. Again, this was, if you were wondering, because I know you all were, and I am loud mouth, the mouth of mouth, and I'll hear from you all and see you all soon. Take care. <laughs> <laughs>